lovelies and welcome back to yet another vlog in today's video i'm just going to be showing you a little behind the scenes of how my days usually start before i start filming on some days i don't show you all of this how scattered and how disorganized everywhere can be and that's because i have two active boys well i've been told to enjoy it because it doesn't last and um, by the time i want to you know express all these joys of motherhood the boys have moved on and they are out of the house so yes i'm taking it one day at a time and i'm trying to enjoy this even though it is a lot of work i try to get them to clean up after themselves but this doesn't happen all the time especially when i'm too tired to even enforce it but anyway you guys i'm just cleaning up and straightening out this living room area um towards the end of the vlog you'll also see that i rearranged the living room and that's because i cannot just maintain one setting for a very long time i try to change up the setting of the house it also helps the rug because as you guys know we're renting and this rug needs to be touched in all the areas so that everywhere looks the same i don't know if you know what i mean but this doodle pens is everywhere like i have been trying my best to get the pens off the floor because i don't want them to end up on the walls and then i have to go in with baking soda and lemon to get the, the marks off the wall anyway just in case anyone was wondering this hooded blanket i have on in this video was sent to me by an amazon vendor you can do well to click in the link in my description box it'll take you right there i'm also picking up this really small cows that are everywhere at this time the boys are up and they're hungry they just want to eat this was a weekday so they had already gone to school by this time so i also moved around my kitchen washed the dishes uh i was off this particular day so i had time to do something that i've been meaning to do for a while and that is reorganize my spice rack so i've been saving these jam containers and i have finally gotten enough to reorganize my spice rack and i'm just transferring the old jars and i'm recycling them now like i said before these jars these new jars are from a jam um particular jam brand that i have been collecting for a while i also took the time to restock on some of the items i was running low of i cleaned up everywhere and then i just have to show you this amazing item that i got a few days ago before then I went ahead to label all the spices because I have to know what I have there. I got this set from Shein and it is so good. You can just clean it off uh, with water and a wet rag and you're good to go. You can use it multiple times. Anyway, I got this package from Purple Turtle and they are an eco-friendly company that just deal with, you know, repurposing items that you might you know find in landmines and recycling bins um this kit came with a manual and also came with um, a couple of glass jars um, with different herbs i got five herbs in total it came with seeds as well uh, a coupon and some stones just to keep my plants hydrated at the bottom this is what it looks like um, the soil pods have to be soaked in warm water for about 10 to 15 minutes it is also recommended that you flip the pods halfway just so that the water gets to all the sides um after that while that is get, getting um hydrated i'm just going to fill the jars with the limestone and by this time the pods are fully hydrated i just transfer them into individual jars and i plant the seeds and cover with about an inch topsoil i repeat that for all the jars so i got sweet basil thyme rosemary um parsley i got um, chives as well i really love chives they belong to the onion family so they're really good um yeah so it's recommended that you keep watering a, just a little amount every day and it's best to keep it in like a warm area so i'm keeping that on my kitchen seal I also went ahead to plant some cucumber seeds and some cherry tomatoes you get to see that in a separate vlog but anyway i also put these bamboo pegs in and it really looks cute i will keep you guys updated on the growth of the plants and the herbs um yeah i went ahead to just continue straightening out the rest of the room i vacuumed i wanted to up but i couldn't get around to it 
I also went out to the backyard because the weather has been really nice of late and yeah I decided to straighten that out as well because the less things I leave out for the boys to destroy the less shouting for me okay so I decided to pack some things away put their scooters aside and talk to my husband about cutting this grass because these boys need to be outside they need to be outside so that my house can be clean on the inside you get what I mean Anyway, you guys, this lovely package came from a particular brand that I will not mention now. But you guys, good news loading, like good news loading. Anyway, the boys came back from school a couple of hours later and they were outside. You guys, when I tell you that this weather was weathering, they were even building like a flower, fire, pit kind of campfire thing. It reminds me of the time when I was much younger and I used to cook soup outside. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, this did not come with a little destruction because, guys, they were knocking down this light and I seriously considered taking it out because their play was just, it was not here. Anyway, later that day, I decided to unbox this dance mat I got from an amazing brand. The link to all these items will be in the description box. I love this particular product because it gets my boys active in the right way, if you know what I mean they get to move around in the house in a safe way it keeps them active it keeps their mind sharp uh it comes with a manual and some accessories you get two socks you get this um camera device you also get two controls a hdmi cable flash drive and a charging cord and a charging plug you also get this disco lights that you know just light up the room it's really pretty at night and it comes to life they wear a ton of games on this thing and the possibilities with this game are so endless i love the fact that you know it keeps the boys active they get to play games and interact with each other as opposed to you know just being on individual tablets even i got in on the phone you guys i was on this thing for a couple of minutes and yeah eventually i handed it over to them but i would say that you know my favorite or one of my favorite games was this dance step one where you can you know step on the mat in different directions there was also table tennis and fruit ninja you guys this game was was fun for days anyway the weekend rolled by and i was working this particular saturday i'm sure you guys know that i hate working on weekends because everybody's at home except me i don't get to work every weekend but the weekends that i get to work i really don't want to go into work if you get what i mean anyway i packed my dinner and some snacks just to keep me occupied and full for the rest of the day i'm taking a big bag because i have my laptop in there and because it's the weekend it's not so busy so i was thinking i'll be able to get some work done but sadly this was not meant to be because when i got to work i was given the rudest shock of my life it was boring and it was busy all at the same time hi guys and welcome back to the channel it's a saturday and god knows that even i don't want to go to this work today because I'm so sleepy and I wish I had the day off to just relax with the family but it is well. After work we go. Along the mug way. If it were up to me, I honestly would. I would still be in my bed sleeping at the time of the day. I'm sure I've told you guys that I do not work on the ward. I just work in the quality control section of the kitchen area for this NHS hospital. And you guys, I cannot even imagine what it is like for those who are having to interface with the patients. There was an outbreak in the hospital and we had to be extra careful. I personally had to be extra careful because I had children that I was going back to at home so i had to constantly keep washing my hands and making sure that everywhere was sanitary i had to put on ppe at some point and i could not bring my phone in i'm so tired <coughs> one eternity later I've been drinking water like a fish all day. Today was hot though. As in temperature wise. 
was a really hot one. Anyway, what did you want to do? Okay. Look at my eyes. Alright, so I've just stopped by Asda. I stopped by Asda now to get a few things. I have my little shopping shopping list as I was running up. So I'll just get one or two things. I don't know if I broke my shopping bag. As per usual, I forgot my shopping bag. So I had to get one when I was done shopping. But I had a little shopping list and I tried my best not to overshoot my budget. Uh, because monthly shopping is still coming up but i just needed a few things like some spinach i needed broccoli as well i also got some baking potatoes um, because you guys know that this is a new addition to our menu i also got some peanuts and some different kinds of bread so i got this harvest and this is the one i usually take now and some brioche as well so yeah i got everything i needed and then i made my way home the drive home was hot like the sun was everywhere the glare from the sun was all over in fact i don't know it's it's too extreme you can't really win with this uk weather sometimes it's too hot the next day is it's too cold you decide to go out without your jacket you regret it immediately anyway you guys that is today's vlog i will see you in the next one bye guys